in the last year, there's been a huge uh, publication or awareness raising an increase of use of semaglutide and similar drugs. So this is sold as Ozempic, Wagovi, Ribelsis. And um, we know that one of the mechanisms of actions of this drug is to slow stomach emptying, slow and ba basically slow upper GI mo motility. And so I, I have two questions. First off is, should people be concerned that this could be a cause of SIBO by slowing the migrating motor complex? Um, well, all these drugs, including Manjaro, this is the, the other one, um, are commonly used now, and it actually affects a lot of what we do. For example, if you're on, on one of these medications and you do a breath test, it's a flat line because galactulose never leaves the stomach. <clears throat> the stomach just doesn't empty. So um, it's not that it slows the cleaning waves. It slows everything. Um, so it, it's more um, problematic than that. Now, we don't have a lot of details on if you're on one of these medications, are you getting more SIBO or not? Or are you going to precipitate SIBO? Uh, we, we don't know. I mean, it's really early days on, on this. But one would imagine anything that slows the gut down leads to bacterial buildup. There's no doubt about that in my mind. So what that does in the long run, we don't quite know yet. But, um, but you're right. It's a big problem. Well, I guess obesity is a big problem and solving obesity and these medications actually working is actually a good thing. But there's always a yin and a yang with everything we do in medicine. So you can solve one problem only leading to another. <clears throat> you know, and another example of that is these, um, and I'm blanking on the name of the category of drugs, but these new anti-cancer drugs, amazing. They're amazing, but they cause type one diabetes in some patients because they destroy your islet cells. So we're seeing a surgence of diabetes in a lot of patients from these anti-cancer drugs, which are life-saving. So, you know, it's, you're beating away one devil and you're getting another devil and you got to decide which devil's worse. Cancer is obviously a bad example because it kills you <clears throat> and diabetes can be managed. So you take those risks, but, but, um, you know, the, this is what we do in medicine. We have to put, put, a, put everything on a balance. Uh, well, my second, thank you. My second question on that is, what about for people who already have SIBO, um, who want to take this or start taking it? Have you seen any examples or any concerns there that it's going to make their symptoms worse because it's going to slow motility more? Yeah, I have a few patients, but very, very few, because I think they know that slowing the gut down causes them to be more bloated. But but it's always more complicated than you think because what those drugs force you to do is eat less. You eat less, you ferment less. You, you have less substrate for the bacteria. So maybe on, on balance, it doesn't do much. It doesn't make it worse. It doesn't make it better. It keeps it about the same. I, I don't know, uh, but we need to study it because it's going to be almost everybody's going to be on these medications, judging from what I'm seeing in, in the news media. Uh, because even people who are not so obese want to lose a few pounds, they're on these medications now too. 